Hello Year 11s, I'm going to go over in this video, I'm going to go over with you how to calculate Simpson's Diversity Index for a, some measurements that we've taken at a quadrant and I'll do, in this video I'll talk to you about how to calculate it by hand, and when I say by hand I mean using a calculator and then in the next one I'll show you how to calculate it using the, an Excel spreadsheet. So if we've given this piece of information here, the question is, here is some information. I think this is the same as what's in the PowerPoint presentation. We've got some information here and we've been invited to calculate Simpson's diversity index with this data. So this is the species and this is how many of each of those species has been counted in a certain area. Up the top here we've got the formula for Simpson's Diversity Index and there are some different ways to calculate Simpson's Diversity Index but this is the one that the QCAA has told us and so we're going to use this one. The only difference, sometimes it's not one subtract this fraction, sometimes it's just the fraction. So we're in QCAA, so in marine science, we are going to be using the Simpson's Diversity E is equal to one subtract this fraction, which is a complicated looking fraction, but we'll figure it out a little bit at a time. The first thing I want to do is to actually, instead of using this table, I'm going to make my own table because I want to add a couple of extra pieces of data into the table. Okay, now, where's my table gone? All right, so all I've done here is I've just retyped that same information into a table. But I've got two additional columns here, which are n minus 1 and n times n minus 1. And you'll notice that n is the total number of organisms of a particular species. So here we've got 2 is the n for spinifex, and 8 is the number, or n, for goat's foot. Let's fill in these columns first of all. So here in this column, I just need to take this number in this column, n, and subtract 1. So 2 subtract 1, I can do that in my head, is 1. 8 subtract 1 is 7. 1 subtract 1 is 0. Pig face, 1 subtract 1 is 0. And pandanus, 3 subtract 1 is 2. So you can see that's quite an easy column to fill out there. This next column here, which is, so here we've got n, bracket n minus 1, that's this column that we're working on here, is just this n column multiplied by this n minus 1 column. So I'm going to take this number here, 2, multiply it by this number here, 1, and 2 times 1 is 2. Next one's a little bit interesting. We've got 8 times 7, so 56. 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 2 is 6. All right, so I've just filled in those two extra columns there. And you might be saying, why? Well, I think you just need to trust me for a little while. This is why, and it's going to assist us in working out this unusual fraction here. The other thing we need to work out, so we've done all that we need to do about this small, the number of organisms of a particular species. We now just need to work with this capital N here, which is the total number of organisms of all the species. So what I need to do here is just add up all these numbers to find out how, what is the total number of species in this area. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 3, 13, 14, 15 is my total there. And just so I'm not get, getting complicated, I'm going to write um, capital N there to make it clear that this is N, the total number of organisms. Now if you look down the bottom here, it says N multiplied by N minus 1. So I'm just going to work out here N minus 1, which will be this 15 minus 1. So 15 minus 1 is 14. And then the final thing we need to do is multiply those two numbers together. So I'll just write that here. So 14 times 15, what's the 9 doing in there? Fix that. Okay, 14 times 15, I can't do that in my head. So we'll bring up the calculator. 14 times 15 equals 210. Okay, so I've got a couple of different numbers here. 
This 210 is actually going to be the denominator of the fraction and we just need to work out what is the numerator of the fraction. If we look over here it gives the um, in the legend it says that this funny symbol here which is a Greek letter sigma it means the sum of so I actually need to work out the sum of all the n times n minus 1 so that means the sum of this column here okay so I'm going to um, add these up here using my calculator again so I've got 2 plus 56 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6 equals 64. So I'll just write that here. So the sum of those is 64. We're nearly ready to put these numbers into our fraction here. So I'll just scroll up a little bit and I'm going to I'm going to write it by hand just because it's hard to hard to do equations in a word document. Okay. So we've got d hang on nearly there draw is what we want. Okay. d is equal to 1 minus now this number here is the sum is this number here, so that's 64 over the top of this number here, which is here, so 210. And now I need to just bring out the calculator again and pop it over that side. Clear. So I'm going to start with the fraction 64 divided by 210, remember that this line here means divided by, equals, got some big number there, okay, and now I need to subtract that from 1. Okay, so for this number, this is the number that I get here, come back calculator, so 0, 0.695, what else was there? 238. Okay. So I'm going to round that just to um, two decimal places. 2.70. Okay, so if I round to two decimal places. We look at the next one, which is a 5, so this needs to go up to from 6, 9 to 70. And this number here is the Simpsons Diversity Index for this ecosystem. Easy.